Hey guys, um, so I'm back again, and yes, I am recording two videos at one time. Um, I just, I don't know, I haven't re had, when you can't speak. Anyway, I haven't uploaded any videos in a very, very long time, so I figure I'd just upload a couple in one night. So, this is another recipe that I've created, and this, um, recipe... This recipe is um a bloating reducing blend, I guess you would say. Like if you have an upset tummy or um just gas or anything like that, this is what this is for. So I have a couple of different ways that you can use it. Now, I don't really know how much it would help you using it in the diffuser, but you could try it. But the ways that I've um, the way it's intended for in my recipe was um, either topical or internal use. Now, the thing about internal usage of essential oils is it's really not, you know, I know Young Living and doTERRA, they say that you can take essential oils internally, but it's really not recommended unless you know that the essential oil is safe to take internally and you do it very minimalistically. And when I say minimalistically, I mean like one drop of like, like I take, let, let me give you an example. I, I will take grapefruit essential oil internally and I do one drop of grapefruit essential oil because I do that for, um, to help with appetite control. And I t I do one drop because it, they're so potent. Like you can't over estimate or you can't, um, you have to recognize how potent they are and how powerful they are is really what I'm getting at. So if you have an aromatherapist, talk to them. If you have a doctor, talk to them. This is, you know, I'm not a healthcare professional. This is all like solely on you. Like if you do it internally, it is on you. I do take essential oils internally, but I do it very minimalistically, very rarely. The only one I do regularly is grapefruit. Okay. So this is just just let, letting you all know that now. So anyway, after that, we'll get down to, um, to the blend. So <clears throat> the way to do it topically, and you're going to need this either way. This is my carrier oil. I put it in this little drop um, amber bottle. Uh, it's easier than getting a big old bottle of grapeseed oil or uh, olive oil or something and using it like that. I just use this little dropper bottle. And I actually have um, olive oil in here right now because my grape uh, grape seed oil went bad so I'm using olive oil until I can get some more so the oils that you're going to need are um, basil, ginger, and peppermint and that's you know I have it written down in my little book here and this, this I just figured this out like five minutes ago and I've had this essential oil case forever this it has like a little like belly that you can a pouch that you can put things in and I didn't even know that like I've been keeping this on my dresser and I can literally just stick it inside of my essential oil case and I have it right with me whenever I want to make recipes or anything like that and I think that's kind of cool anyway a tangent sorry so anyway back to the essential oils so we need again basil ginger and peppermint so I'll get those out here's my basil essential oil here is the ginger essential oil, and finally the peppermint essential oil is right here. So either way you do this, whether you're doing it topically or internally, it's going to be one drop of each, okay? So the way that I know, and I always check with this before I do anything internally, the way that I know that my essential oils are safe is I have this little spreadsheet, well not spreadsheet, but a little list that I have of all the essential oils that are generally regarded as safe as um, food additives by the FDA. And so um, I have this list right here and if it says GS, um, that means that it's generally regarded as safe. If it says FA beside it, it means FDA approved. And if it says FL beside it, it means it's a flavoring agent. So that's basically all that that means. Um, and I made this up and Anyway, I checked this and I, I've looked all of this up and it's all, we're good. So, 
that's what I use to know if I can take things in internally. So if you're not going to take it internally, you're going to take your um, carrier oil and you're going to do a couple of drops of that into your palm. And then you're going to take your basil oil and you're going to do one drop into your palm. You're going to take your ginger oil and you're going to do one drop into your palm. And you're going to finally take your peppermint oil and you're going to do one drop into your palm. And then you're going to rub it all over your abdomen, your belly, wherever you're feeling pain or bloating. That's where you're going to put that. Now if you're taking it internally, you're going to take one of these V caps or veggie capsules and they come apart like this and then you can't really see it. Well, I guess you can now. And then you take it and then I'll make up one of these capsules. I'm not really going to, I'm not going to take it because I don't need it right now, but um, you're going to put some essential oil or uh, sorry, carrier oil into the capsule and I'll do that. And you're going to fill it about halfway or uh, four, uh, three quarters of the way up. And then uh, you can't see it, I guess. This is with the uh, olive oil in it. And then you're going to take your basil and you're going to undo that. And you're going to put one drop of basil in there. I'll try and show you. One drop of basil. You're going to do one drop of ginger. Now we all heard ginger ale is really good for the stomach. Peppermint has a soothing agent, especially for um, a topical application, but it also has um, internal uh, benefits as well. So um, anyway, one drop of ginger. And finally, one drop of peppermint essential oil. I know it's hard to see and I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to make sure it gets in there because I do not have a steady hand. Yeah. Come on. There we go. One drop of peppermint essential oil. Then you are just going to take the cap and you're going to pop it back on. And you can shake it up. And then you can just take it, just like a capsule. In the mouth. Well, duh. <laughs> that was really weird. You're going to take this internally and hopefully it will help you with the bloating. All of these new oils have properties for bloating and indigestion and things like that. So they should help you internally. And you can use them topically if you're afraid to use internally. But I, these are generally regarded as safe as food additives by the FDA. Um, <clears throat> so that is, we're good with that. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you try this. And I would recommend taking it topically but if you if you're down with doing things internally give it a go uh, I think you'll be fine but really be careful when you're taking essential oils internally I'm just warning you guys because they are so potent and they're very strong and powerful and we need to not underestimate the power of mother nature so anyway I'll leave you guys with that and um, I hope you have a wonderful day I hope you um, get to use this blend and I hope it works for you very well. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I wish you the best. Goodbye.